All right, guys. My wife is complaining that it's hot in the house. It feels fine to me, but she says it's hot. Now, I did go look at the thermostat. She's got it set on 73, and it's 74 in the house. So obviously something is wrong. I hear the compressor. The suction line is cold and sweaty. But it looks like we do have a problem. I guess my wife is not going crazy. I know it's late enough to where I don't want to be fooling with this. And it's after nine o'clock. gas in there yep it's long gas this is liquid line I have a Goodman air handler with a piston. Keep in mind, I rent this house. This is not my house, I rent. Fifty-six suction. This will be the second time I charge this unit up and I've lived here less than a year. What the hell? Oh, they're both set on liquid. Hopefully it's not frozen up. I mean, it's not freezing up out here, so I don't think it's frozen. I should have a charging T right here. Yep. See, I'm putting that chart that Appian charging T on there, and I'm gonna hook my hose to the back of the T, and you'll see the pressure come back on the gate on the phone, and then I'll hook up my hose right there to the top of the T. All right. We're charging and see my pressure going up and then my hose over there. Turn that off. It's up to, you know what? I don't know if I got any liquid left in this bottle. No, it's just vapor. 
because my pressure's not moving and it should have moved. So I gotta change bottles. bleeding my hose guys so don't have a fit saying oh he's uh uh venting he's venting no i'm not venting i'm just bleeding my hose all right now we're going in with some some good pressure this thing might be frozen at the evaporator no pressure's coming up Moving slow. I don't want to make you guys watch all this. All right, guys. I didn't like the way the charging was going, and I don't know if you can see how cold the uh, the suction line is. It's 23 degrees. I can see that the pipe is starting to freeze up. So that's telling me that we do have some ice on the evaporator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the disconnect for about 30 minutes to an hour and then start this machine back up and recheck the charge we definitely have ice on the evaporator all right guys it's been about an hour and a half since i pulled the disconnect so Let's fire up the probe. I just left the probes hooked up and everything. Get them turned on. Get the app open. Four ten A. All right, let's pop the disconnect in or turn it around. Let's see where we get now. That's looking a lot better already. Pretty confident we're not going to need any more refrigerant. I'm going to go ahead and unhook this. Close this off.
good. We're not going to need any more refrigerant. Thirteen degrees of superheat. I like that. Yeah, we're definitely not going to need any more refrigerant. said earlier I've been living here less than a year at this particular house it'll make a year in March that I've been at this particular house and this is the second time I've had to put gas in the system things pretty cool I used to not be a probe guy but my wife bought me the probes for my birthday this past year and I've really grown to start liking the probes I don't use them all the time but the fact that they fit in my bag here oh, and I want to give a shout out to Curtis for showing everybody the tech mc mct blackout i just got one but the fact that they fit in my bag and they're just so convenient i've really really grown to like the probes like i said i don't always use them But I have been using them, I have caught myself using them more and more. I saw one cap. Now I've lost, I've lost both my, oh there's no, there's one. I've lost one of my caps. It may have slid inside the condenser. But. I got plenty of caps on the truck. I'll just go get a cap off the truck. Yeah, it's gone. <sighs> All right, guys. Well, this is like the second video I've done on my house, so. But it's back up and running. So the wife was right. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all on the next one.